What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of East vs. West with my host, Eddie Tainment. Uh Eddie, we got two brand new announcements today, and let's just let's talk about them. Yup, yup. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> what down my boat? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to let Eddie uh, take the spotlight first because with his new maze, um, it was um, appropriate at our event last year, but uh, they're getting a new twist on it a little bit. Uh, as long as, oh, They're getting one new twist on it, and I want to hear a little bit more about it. So, Eddie, go ahead and take it away about what your maze is this year. All righty. So, first and foremost, let's just recap what we have already. Um, so, as everybody knows, we have Stranger Things. We have Nightingale's. Blood Pit, and now, as of today, this morning, we have announced the Universal Monsters coming to Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. So we had that maze last year, and it was a huge success over here on the West Coast. Um, I know a lot of people on the West Coast really wanted this maze, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad you guys are going to get to experience this now. Um, of course, yours is going to have an extra scene that we didn't have, so that's going to be really cool to see a twist on that. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that looks like. But uh, what are your overall thoughts of this maze, and, and how do you feel uh, coming in to, uh, with this announcement? I mean, from what I saw from your maze last year, this is one of the things that I was definitely jealous of your event. It seemed like an amazing house, and it also had an amazing scare zone when you exited. Um, I'm not sure if we're getting the scare zone portion, but just the Universal Monsters have been a huge promotional, uh, basically, point lately. We got that that new uh, horror store that opened up at Orlando, as well as all the shirts and merchandising. Um, you have the the murals that were painted in Hollywood. For the Universal Monsters, so there's been a lot of push around using Universal intellectual property, and it's probably due to things that are going on with other intellectual properties. Um, but you know, we we got the description which tells us that we have terrifying un, uh, monsters unleashed in Orlando, um, and they're looking to to basically kill us before we escape. It looks like we're going to be coming in in contact with Dracula in his Gothic castle, the Wolfman in his Bavarian forest. And also Dr. Frankenstein's monster. Seems like those will be the main focus. But in addition to that, we're getting something that you didn't get last year, which is if we survive those three, we get an encounter with the creature from the Black Lagoon, as well as the mummy and many more is what it says. I don't know what more means. But you guys did get the mummy last year, though, right? We got the mummy. And uh, if they're going by many more, I'm going to assume the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. And you guys also got... Um, at least a glimpse at the Invisible Man, didn't you? Yeah, so we got a little portion of the Invisible Man, so you might see about the same thing uh, of how they did it last year, which was, of course, they put a lot of uh, black lights, and they put him in black, and, of course, they put a little bit of wrapping around him, and it looked actually really awesome. He actually looked like uh, Hugh Hefner, so that was kind of funny. Yeah, and to kind of go a little bit more into my preparation and what I think of this, um, you know, I, I gave you... Uh, and the Hollywood event, a lot of crap for, uh, you know, doing trick or treat after we did, and it looks like now we're getting the the payback. Which, and I uh, I immediately shoved that in your face this morning when I, I texted know. you. Yeah, you did, but I'll accept it happily because this is an awesome an awesome property, and I'm sure you accepted trick or treat happily as well. Um, I don't know if if we're gonna be double dipping, but if we do, then it's gonna be basically a mirror effect from one year to another. Oh, yeah. As far as what Hollywood does compared to Orlando, and now it's going to be what Orlando does compared to to Hollywood. Um, but you know, regardless, 
you guys got it last year. It seemed like a great house. I could only imagine what we could do with this inside of one of our sound stages. Um, I, I could envision the lightning over over top in one of the sound stages for Frankenstein's monster. Also, them creating uh, a forest atmosphere. I know that they recently just created a very uh, a very realistic forest for the new ride that's coming out um, it, for Harry Potter, the Hagrid ride. Yeah. So. Who knows? Maybe we get a very detailed forest for the Wolfman and his Bavarian forest. Um, in addition to that, Dracula's Gothic Castle. That sounds amazing. And then the creature from the Black Lagoon having some type of like marsh and monster. That that sounds like it's going to be great. I'm I'm pumped for this one for sure. It, it has it told you anything? It hasn't told you anything about music though. No, um, I know that you guys had music from Slash last year and. Um, I'll, I'll let you talk further about any music that's connected to your house, but no, I don't see anything as far as connections with music from any of the announcements. It, it could be that that's something that they release later, or or maybe we're just not getting that much of a detailed soundtrack like you guys did. Yeah, because the only because I was gonna say too. I mean, besides Creature, which I I don't know if Slash actually did one for Creature. I don't remember. I think he said he talked about doing one for the creature just to, just for the hell of it. But uh, what I was thinking too is like, if you guys are getting this maze, you guys can literally just probably they'll probably take the sound with it. I mean, that would make the most logical sense. But if they're gonna go something different with just the sound effects of each movie and mix it different, I mean that that could work out too. Yeah, I, I mean, although it it is something you guys got last year, I I get the feeling that it's gonna be a little different. From from your approach that you guys had last year, I, I don't remember exactly what were the like focused monsters at your event, but um, correct me if I was wrong. I, I know Dracula was definitely in your in your promotion, but was Frankenstein monster and the Wolfman in the promotion like ours is? I mean, it, it seems like those three are going to be yeah. the main focus. The other people just come second. So I think that yeah, they were the three main like billboarded um of course uh advertisements for this maze um and of course heavily too they were always talking about of course you know the the uh the mummy and of course the phantom of the opera so we saw those as well and the invisible man um but yeah those three were the uh the the face of the maze um, even though, in my opinion, we didn't get to see Wolfman too much, we saw him like one time, I think, or two times. But like, I'm I'm kind of glad that I think that's why maybe they're doing what they're doing on our side of the uh, uh, coast because the fact that they kind of neglected um, Wolfman a little bit compared to what they did uh, last year and stuff, uh, that they're gonna try to redeem him, show him more with uh, Frankenstein. I think the two. That's probably the two they neglected the most. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, the the promotional poster looks awesome. I'm looking at it right now as we're doing this. Um, Dracula definitely seems like the main guy, Nosferatu. Um, he, he's obviously going to have probably one of the most detailed sets when you're walking through. Definitely. Um, but it seems like we're going scene to scene. So we'll be walking through Dracula's castle, then through a forest if it if it comes out the same way that the advertising is and then we'll be going through dr frankenstein's lab um and then if we survive that which we may not i may never see <laughs> uh the creature from the black lagoon who knows or the mummy or the mummy um, yep but if i survive you know that's that's what we'll get to see and then i'll be able to let you know about it for sure um another thing i, I hope they kind of do bring to your maze which was a really cool effect last year in ours was the uh ending scene with frankenstein of course when he flips the switch and blows up the castle but it just looked the, all the lights and everything look awesome and i really kind of hope they incorporate that in your maze just so you can get a kind of feel and look at it yeah and i'm looking at the the poster right now and if you look at the bottom of the poster, I don't know if you're if you're listening along and you're able to, to to pull it up. It looks like in the distance at the bottom, there's a few shadow figures, and one of them looks like the bride of Frankenstein. It definitely looks like a female figure next to like a wolf figure, so maybe she's going to be in it as well. Who knows? Yeah, uh, yeah, because Bride of Frankenstein, I know, was in our maze. Um, because 
the fact that um that was the ending for for the maze actually when you go in Frankenstein's castle and uh Frankenstein comes in Frankenstein's monster comes in and Frankenstein actually is working on the bride of Frankenstein um so that was the end that was the that was the only time you actually really saw her so you might get to see something like that where Dr. Frankenstein is working on um of course the uh the bride the bride yeah and uh Frankenstein comes in and blows up the castle. I don't know how they're going to structure this maze. They might do it a little different. They might uh, make their own own original take on it. So that'd be also pretty cool to be kind of similar but also have their own original stuff too. That'd be pretty cool for you guys. Did you guys get this in the sound stage? Uh we got this in the courtyard. So no, we didn't get it in the sound stage. Gotcha. But they they did a really good job what they worked with. So I I enjoyed that. Awesome. Um but yeah, is that basically it for your guys' thing? You guys are pretty much they haven't announced where they're gonna have it located or anything? No, not yet. I, I can only imagine a, a property like this has to go into a sound stage and luckily enough we have a few sound stages to go around. Um I know Stranger Things is obviously gonna get a sound stage. Um Blood Pit I don't think needs a, a sound stage, so we don't have to worry about that one taking up a sound stage. This property most definitely could use a soundstage with the effects that are probably going to go into it. Yeah. But who knows? Well, I guess we'll we'll figure out where this one's going to be put after we figure out what the other IP announcements are as well. Very, yeah, very true. Moving on over to the West Coast, uh, we also got West a... Side? West Side? there you go. Uh, <laughs> we also got a new announcement today, uh, very similar to, of course, um, Orlando's. And that, it was actually funny, because I don't know if you read the tweets like three days ago when... Uh, Murdy and Orlando were going at it as far as uh but bet we can announce something before you oh, and stuff. Yeah. That was kinda yeah. I thought that was kinda funny for a little comic relief. Uh that was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. The fact that they were like competing and uh, I, I I forgot what the what the what the winner would get, but it was whoever announced first won. Yeah. And I think you guys actually announced first and today they went back and forth saying you win this one. Yeah. And he's like, uh, it's not true. We announced first. He goes, well, it's actually 5 o'clock where I'm at. Or it's like five, we're five hours ahead or in Europe and stuff. I thought that was hilarious. Um, but we got an announcement. We got Universal Monsters Frankenstein meets uh, the Wolfman. They will be versing in this maze, and if you looked at the poster for, of course, um, the maze that we got today, uh, in that poster, we do see uh, kind of similar resemblance to the Alien vs. Predator um, poster that they made. Very similar, actually. It's almost like they took that poster and just reskinned it, and, and it looks kind of like really similar. So um, I'm really excited to see what they can do with this one. Um, like I said, Universal Monsters last year was a huge success with music by Slash. Um, and Slash is returning for our maze this year to do music again. Uh, even though I guess Murdy was saying that he's had a busy schedule this year with touring and stuff like that, with like Guns N' Roses and his own solo stuff. Um, he is coming, he's making time out of his busy schedule to uh, do another score for Universal Monsters uh, Frankenstein meets Wolfman. Um, the basic premise of this maze, though, we're going to see, of course, the guy who is the Wolfman. I forget his name. Let me pull it up. But basically, you're going to see him. Uh, you're going to see him. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm losing my train of thought. You're going to see him walk into uh, Dr. Frankenstein's uh, laboratory. He's trying to look for a cure from the Wolfman because he is tired of being the Wolfman. And uh, basically... What's going to happen is uh, he is going to, I guess he's walking in on a full moon, which is not good for the Wolfman. And he's going to transform into the Wolfman, and eventually we're going to see an all-out brawl from him and uh, Frankenstein's monster. Of course, this is taking place right after Universal Monsters, um, uh, the first maze that we got in 
uh, last year. So uh, we shall see how, how it picks up. I think it's going to be, they were explaining that the fact that the castle is going to be already all blown up and stuff like that. So we're going to see an aftermath of what uh, Frankenstein did. Frankenstein's monster, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, they're just going to fight it out. Um, some stuff I'm really excited to see in this maze is, of course, the... Um, the Wolfman. I'm a huge fan of werewolves. Uh, I thought I always thought werewolves look really cool and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to see how they're gonna uh, do the Wolfman this year. Which last year they did it pretty good. In previous years, when they've done a Wolfman, it looked really cool. So um, that's gonna be cool. And I want to see what the basic premise of the story is. Um, why they start fighting? Maybe because the Wolfman just saw him as a threat. I mean, the Wolfman just kills everyone. So that's an obvious one. You know, I'm I'm going back and forth on the websites right now just looking at the advertisement and i find it interesting that they're using completely different like sketches of the wolfman and frankenstein at both different parks i think because this one this time around is supposed to be a um because the way we saw frankenstein and wolfman leave after or at least with frankenstein they blew him up so, like, I think they're going to go with more of a he's been on fire and stuff. He's got fire damage more. So I think they're going to try to do, like, an aftermath version of it. And yours is supposed to be, like, the first round of it. That's why. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So. Does, uh, did you guys get a, a custom trailer? Yeah. That's that. That's one thing I, I got to say. You know, I've been calling for it. More, more uh, personalized trailers for each one of these houses, not just like clips put together. Yeah. And I, I looked at the one for Orlando, and it, it was it was pretty dope. Um, and I'm glad that they got it. I don't think last year any house after Stranger Things got a custom trailer. I think they just kind of announced it. It was one of those things where you heard like a couple audio clips from a movie or something, or and they yeah. just showed a picture and stuff like that. Yep. So yeah, yeah that's that's usually how it's been. Um, I did, however, um, receive a leaked lineup for Hollywood. I don't know if I should share it yet, though. Mm. Because you know, leaked lineups are never... I mean, they're never, never true, <laughs> but then you always get a lot of backlash from fans who didn't want to hear it. Yep. Can I say one thing, though? Yeah. Um, not leaked lineup related, but my speculation videos, I'm two for two right now. Are you? Are you? Yeah, I... I called for uh, Classic Monsters, and I called for Stranger Things, but everybody calls for Stranger everybody Things. Everybody calls, so. yeah. Yeah, so uh, Stranger Things aside, I'm one for one. <laughs> no, you're still two for two. I'll count it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I did receive a leaked lineup. Um, I won't say from who, just for the confidentiality, but I I take it with a very little grain of sand because, I mean, leaked lineups are never all the way true. Um, and this one that I read is too good to be true, so we'll find out. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video on it. Maybe I won't. Well, I don't know. Like I said, it always gets a lot of backlash all the time, so we'll see what happens. But nonetheless, the maze is going to be located in the back lot of the Metro sets this year. I don't know where exactly. Um, there's usually three locations for Metro set mazes, so... Uh, we're getting into the back lot this year. That's a little bit more room than we had last year in the Parisian Courtyard. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm very much excited for this maze. And uh, I can't wait to uh, see what they bring together. Of course, like I said, Slash is coming back to do another score. So that's two mazes this year that we're going to have two different artists do uh, original music for, which I'm kind of excited for. Figure's making his return, and Slash is making his return again. That's awesome. You guys keep on getting like custom music. Yeah, I, I figure it's kind of been a, a an HHN veteran, if you will. I mean, he did the music for uh, Universal Monsters Remixed, which was really good when they used to do it in the House of Horrors. And then he did the one for Resurrection, which was uh, like a sequel to that. Was that House of Horrors or Horror? Horror, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, of course, Slash did Clowns, and he is doing he did Universal Monsters now. He's coming back for a third year. Cool. Slash is a big so, HHN fan, so that's cool. So we both kind of touch base at what is new at our event. You know, Orlando has uh, the Nightingales, Stranger Things, and now Classic Monsters. You guys have Stranger Things, um, Holidays in Hell, and Classic Monsters. Uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Okay. So how about we do this? Instead of talking about a leak lineup, let's maybe finish this off with a little bit of speculation what yep. do you think i'm okay. down all right cool so um cheesy plug i did a speculation video recently so 
check Everybody it out. Always check that out if always. necessary. But um, a couple of things that we're speculating for Orlando, and it's out there in the HHN universe. People are talking about it. People are excited about it. One of them is something that I wasn't really I, – I had no idea would even have a chance. Um, but it looks like it got out there. It's a cult classic, and people are actually excited about it, which is Ghostbusters. I've heard that heard too of, over here. Yeah, um, which I find extremely interesting because it's not even close to an actual – horror franchise but i guess universal studios doesn't always stick to horror franchises well, you guys have gotten i mean take uh, a look at the ghost though i mean I, and a lot of people have been saying this it's not a horror movie it's not close to a horror franchise it's a kid's kind of comedy and stuff like that but actually go back and watch that movie and take a look at the ghosts like the ghost i'm gonna be honest with you if i saw the ghost in real life i'd probably shit my pants the ghost themselves look scary and this ain't the first time Hollywood, at least, has taken a, an attempt on doing a comedy sort of maze. Um, yeah, exactly. They that, did This Is The End. Say. That's so. what I was going to say. Like, you guys got This Is The End. Um, I don't know if you guys also got what we got, but we got, um, what was that HBO series with the guy with the chainsaw? Um, guy with the chainsaw? Yeah. He's, like, fighting, like, horror monsters, but it's kind of like a like a, a funny, oh, man, it's going to kill me. Like, did? Yeah, Ash vs. Evil Dead. We got, we got that Ash too. Ash vs. Evil yeah. Dead. And, I mean, going through that maze, it was it was a fun maze, but it wasn't scary at all. It was cheesy. I think one year you even got, you guys got Shaun of the Dead too. Maybe. That was like when I, it I, first kind of came ex- back. experiencing that. What? It was like years ago when it first came back, I think. like Maybe. Around that time when it came out. But, uh, yeah, Shaun of the Dead, I've, I've heard that one around. And that was honestly a spoof of zombie movies, so. Yeah. So not something I'm necessarily calling for, or not something I was calling for, but if it came, it's such a cult classic, I'm such a fan of the original movies, that I would be probably excited for it, and more more excited so if it got a custom trailer. A good one. Yeah, the, um, you can imagine seeing the car pulling up, and then it's there. they get yeah. out and they fight the marshmallow. That'd be oh, dope. Man, Stay puff. They pull up to the to the entrance of Universal Studios. Oh, that'd be dope. Oh, that'd and then you dope. just see Slimer and everybody. That'd be dope. Yeah. You see yeah, State Puff. He's, he's like going to knock down the Universal sign or something. That'd be, that'd be fucking awesome. Or uh, what, what's the kid's name from Stranger Things? Um, Will? Yeah. Like they, they do a video uh, of Will entering Universal Studios, the arches, and like, you know, the, the Stranger Things music. Uh, and then all of a sudden the, <laughs> the ghost mobile like comes and like, Runs him over. <laughs> Aw, dude. Too <laughs> soon. Will's already been through so much shit. I know. Poor kid. Poor kid. I'm just... Obviously, that would never happen because they, they would never insult uh, Netflix or Stranger Things. I thought you were going to like a whole different direction with this, too. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I just thought I'd say something funny. But that that's one thing that's speculated. Um, on, on top of that, there's other speculation out there. Um, one one that, that I think you and I talked about probably like a month or so back is you know the potential of some type of chucky um especially with this reboot coming out makes a lot of sense but i I do understand that this reboot is actually owned by somebody else yeah orion Uh, and i think uh lionsgate yeah so i don't know from a from a perspective of bringing that exact property over they that whether or not we'll get it but I mean, Universal could just ride on the coattails of the fact that these guys are advertising a movie and do their own approach at Chucky. So there is some speculation out there, some things that sound like they have a strong potential. And then last but not least, at least for Orlando, but probably a really strong case for Hollywood as well, is another Netflix property. Universal and Netflix are working really hard together. Obviously, Stranger Things is something that Universal is putting a lot of money into out of respect for for Netflix and their partnership and continuing to grow that relationship. So how better to grow that relationship than bringing another house? So the house that I saw speculated um, and I speculated myself through, you know, the grapevine, what I've seen out there is Sabrina, the Netflix original series, which is not the property from Netflix that I would want to see. But, you know, if Netflix is trying to push their own prerogative as far as what properties they want advertised, you know, this that's a perfect opportunity. They're, All right, we're going to give you Netflix, our biggest property. But next, you got to let us promote something that we want to promote and grow. So I could understand that perspective. But the one that I think the 
fan favorite would be from Netflix would be Haunted the Haunted House. Hill House. Yep. Right? Um, so if they brought that, I think they would make a lot of people happy. I haven't heard one person say no to the Haunting of Hill House coming to Halloween Horror Nights. Well, I mean, and that's another good way to advertise that, too, because it just got picked up for a season two. And a, a good way to kind of get the hype back up is, and if people, and if you're like a person like me, when a new, when like when all these properties start coming, you start watching all the movies to get excited and stuff like that, and look at past stuff from past years just to kind of get your hype going. If you're anything like that, then you know, I mean, it's a good way for Netflix to get viewership through that too, because a lot of fans will go back and rewatch stuff like, oh, I want to see that in the maze. Oh, I want to see. That's exactly what I do. I go back and watch stuff just to see stuff that I want to see in the maze. Um, yeah. So that'd be a, a smart strategy on them to just do that, just to get viewerships. Um, another speculated property that's been kind of been, it's been on a leaked lineup for years, but I don't know if it'll ever come back, but uh, or if it will come at all. It, it came one year, but it, it was it, the 2011 version, which was the reboot, which is the thing. But they wanted that. I've been hearing a lot of speculation of John Carpenter's the thing. Um, yeah, that would be really awesome, and I'd be very happy to see it. Um, just a lot of people got to remember that that movie does start out slow, much like The Shining and The Exorcist. So there only be like so much, so much that they can show. Um, of course, you could show all the people that the thing kills throughout the movie, which would be cool. Um, of course, I don't think you can get really a nice scare actor that dress up as Kurt Russell though. I mean, Kurt Russell just nails that role. Um, yeah. So that would be interesting. Um, I'd be excited to see that. Another big speculation, and this one's heavily been speculated only because of the success of The Scare Zone last year, which is, of course, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And I'm not just saying that because I really like that movie, which I really do. But nonetheless, I mean, I think it, it is honestly, with the success of The Scare Zone being packed every night of the event that was going on, there wasn't one video where I didn't see that Scare Zone like shoulder to shoulder with people. Like, yeah. that Scare Zone was insanely packed. Yeah, it was. And what what I will say about Killer Clowns is after Stranger Things, that's the next heavily speculated property that I would be surprised if it didn't come. I um, think they're going to save it for last, I think. Maybe. Um, but in some way or form, maybe bring it back as another scare zone or put it as a scare zone in, in Hollywood. Um, I would really want it to come back to Orlando as well, but um, it's I have a strong feeling it's coming back in some way, so um, one or the other or both. So, but, oh, go ahead. So one thing, once again, we talked about this on our last podcast. We're we're in unison as far as like our announcements. Yeah, this, I, I don't think I've n ever noticed that Orlando and and Hollywood have announced either so closely together or at the same time more than once. Which I wonder if it's a new marketing strategy they're trying. <laughs> Yeah, it, it does seem like it. Now both property or both both uh, events are helping each other out. Yeah. Um, I, I think in general, Orlando is really heavily known for their theme parks because you know Universal. I mean, uh, Hollywood has their their theme parks, but Orlando has a lot of marketing behind it. I mean, I don't know if if you're watching on TV, uh, it may be just in my area or something, but we get Orlando commercials on a regular basis because you got Disney World. Yeah, and Universal with all those theme parks, and a lot of times Volcano Bay gets a lot of promotion on TV, at least around here. So I don't, I'm not sure on the West Coast if you guys get that. No, yeah, we um, get them like crazy for all our theme parks. Like as far as you know, Universal Studios goes. I'm not even lying. We even get Orlando fucking advertisements because we just, I just, I've been seeing advertisements like crazy over the new Hagrid ride. Yeah, yeah. So, see, that's the thing. I on, on my end. I'm completely aware of, of Hollywood, and I get hot Hollywood advertisements like on my Facebook and things like that, but I don't see it on TV. I, I feel like the promotion behind Orlando is huge, so Hollywood and or and Orlando only can benefit from you know promoting these things at the same time. Um, or Orlando, from a West Coast perspective, because I feel like you got a lot of hardcore uh, Halloween Horror Nights fans out there, and or and um, Hollywood, it's gonna gonna benefit from a tourist perspective because I feel like there's a huge level of tourism coming from outside of the U.S. coming to Orlando, um, not only for this event but more likely for things like the Harry Potter world that that we have. Yeah, you know, since we have a, a larger Harry Potter world, when I go to Orlando, I get 
I, I see a bunch of people that are like actual like British people, you know, like there, there's so many accents there as you walk around that you'd be surprised. So yeah, this may be a strategy that they're putting together, um, to, to build up the parks in unison. Um, but this is definitely the first time that I've seen that we get more than one property announced at the same time together. Yeah. Definitely, um, and I'm very excited to see what's to come in the future. We have three mazes announced, and I think we usually get about eight or nine mazes here, and you guys get about ten or eleven, something like that. Ten announced so far, but they, they have a tendency of always adding one. So yeah. like last year, we had nine, and then one of the announcements was that we were getting a tenth house. Okay. So, yeah, we, we do eight, so that's three down so far. Um and I know our park's expanding too, so hopefully in the future we can get more mazes, more spots would be really, really nice. Um, but we'll see, especially with the expansion of the Nintendo Land and, of course, the Secret Life of Pets. Uh, potentially, hopefully, getting the Lyarona spot back where Shrek 4D was. And uh, not this year, but hopefully next year you get the JPQ line back, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, that's just good. Yeah, that's that's about it for speculations and stuff like that. Um so both coasts are, of course, got a new maze announced as of t as of this recording today. Uh, Universal Monsters uh, is coming to Orlando this year, so you guys get to experience that on the East Coast, and that's going to be fun. I hope I hope everyone enjoys it. Um, if you saw any footage from last year on YouTube of the mazes, um, and you are hyped for it, just watching the footage, uh, I can guarantee you that you guys are going to probably have a fucking amazing time going through that maze. Um, and I, I'm very excited to see a lot of the reactions for this maze for Orlando. So I uh, can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. Um, and, of course, over here in Hollywood and Hollyweed, um, we got uh, Universal Monsters Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So we're going to be seeing the two face off with the new original score by Slash. It's going to be taking place in the Metro set of the back lot where they usually do three mazes in a scare zone. So very much looking forward to seeing what they can combine and come up with this year. I'm hoping that this is going to eventually become a full-time thing and they're going to get rid of The Walking Dead, and I would love that. Who knows? I mean, there's talks of Orlando getting a full-time annual maze, too, So or house. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, th this is a, an announcement that definitely has me more hyped than our last announcement. Even though our last announcement was great with an original, this is like an IP original, as yeah. we were talking about earlier. Very much looking forward to both mazes. Hopefully we can get out there. I, I'm trying very hard. Financially, it's not looking good. Yeah, no, I feel you. So, it, it's it's expensive trip, man. It is. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching another episode of East vs. West. Be sure to subscribe to both channels. Eddie, of course, on the Eddie Tainment channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go subscribe. Go watch his content. It makes good stuff right there. Not going to want to miss out. And, of course, if you're already part of the Madhouse, thank you for being part of the Madhouse. And if you are just new to the Madhouse, well, welcome to the Madhouse. We are always thankful and always have room for one more inmate. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the Madhouse, uh, for watching or listening to this video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bada beam, bada boom. <laughs>